What's up guys, it's Goob, and today I'm going to be unboxing the new Chosy Achilles. So we already have the Chosy Valkyrie and the Chosy Spriggan, and finally they released Chosy Achilles, which is obviously the evolution of Z Achilles, and it also comes with this new launcher, which basically is just a normal LR launcher, except the string is longer, so that's pretty awesome because I've always hated the fact that the LR launcher has a shorter string than the normal string launchers. So I think the new launcher is going to be something I'll be using a lot. This also comes with a new driver that has six modes, which is insane. I don't know if there's any other Beyblade that has six modes just in the driver. There's definitely been Beyblades that you could change the driver into three different ways and you could change it from left to right. But there's never been a Beyblade that has a driver that has six modes, I don't think. So that's pretty cool. On the front of the box, you can see Chosy Achilles, the launcher that's included. Um, this was about $40 on Amazon, which is pretty good considering that it comes with a LR launcher, which is about $20 to $25 if you buy it by itself. So it's not a terrible price um, because you're also getting the LR launcher. Top of the box. All Beyblades with the prefix Cho Z are going to have burst stoppers on them, which is awesome because it prevents them from bursting. It's a little bit counterintuitive though, in my opinion, because if every Beyblade has burst stoppers, then there's never going to be any burst in the game at all. So I don't really know how that's going to work. I feel like that's defeating the purpose of having even the bursts at all because none of these Beyblades are going to be able to burst. So although it's really cool right now, when all Beyblades have this burst stopper, it's going to be pointless, kind of, because no Beyblades are going to burst. Moving on to the back, you can see the parts. So it's Chosy Achilles, zero, 0 So this is the new version of Zero. It's only a slight bit heavier, so it's not much of an upgrade. And then Dimension, the new driver with six modes, which they kind of show over here. This part of the box shows the burst stopper again it shows it bursting alter chronos and then it shows the new launcher which is only a little bit longer than the normal lr launcher but that makes a big difference even though it's only a slightly bit longer it's gonna feel a lot different because that could be like a whole revolution that your beyblade will spin when you launch so that actually could make a big difference um, that's about it for the box let's get into opening this up sorry about the lack of uploads i've been really busy recently with school but hopefully i'll be back to uploading more often soon hopefully in a couple weeks i'll start uploading three times a week but i can't guarantee that because i've just been really busy Ooh. all right so we got the instruction manual along with the stickers. I definitely will be putting on these stickers because there's not that many. And I kind of want this baby to look awesome. So I'm definitely gonna put on the stickers. Best way to open this guy is to tear on this side and just tear it all down the side like that. And then you can push all the parts out. This Beyblade looks crispy. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the launcher. Here is the launcher. It honestly looks so good in these golden wings here look really awesome. Um, they really add a nice touch to the launcher. Without them there, I think it would look too plain. They also made the letters the same gold color. I think that looks really good. Um, the bottom is just all red. They, let's see how long the cord actually is. Comparing it to the long winder, it is a little bit shorter. But in my opinion, these long winders, although they are great, they're almost too long. So you're at like your, your full power and like you have extra string still left and you just don't really need it. So I think this still is gonna be like my main launcher, but I'm really, really hoping that the left works because on all my other LR launchers, I literally have bought five, I think, the left does not work at all. Like it just, it skips, it's not good. It's probably like the worst left spin launcher I have. For right spin, it's really good. So like, I just hope that they fix that. Chosy Achilles. This thing looks awesome. Um, it's way bigger than Z Achilles, which 
was definitely needed because the Achilles was too small and it still has like the same look though they didn't just change it completely they still have these big swords on the side kind of like the other Achilles have but these ones are even bigger and they don't like protrude as much out which could be good or bad depending on um, what you're using it for and colors are awesome um, the bottoms is really cool translucent yellow and I love this um, it looks really sleek and there are so many details on it it just looks awesome so we got zero zero which I talked about before this thing is a little bit different than the old zero it's not as circular it has more edges and stuff on it which could be good or bad um, I'm not sure yet and it's only about 0.1 grams heavier I think so it's not a huge difference and the new driver dimension this is one crazy looking driver featuring six modes so let's try to go through all of them the little uh, grooves look cool right now it's in its lowest form the tip is not out and it's in its lowest mode then you spin it so I think when it clicks in that means the tip is going to be protruding a little bit but when it's not clicked and it's like in between those two clicks um, the tip goes back in and it's aggressive it so it has three heights and in each height it can either be protruding or not protruding so in total it has six modes let's check out the teeth on this thing it's right spin does not come with a frame pretty good uh, not great but it's not gonna matter much because it has burst stoppers so it shouldn't have an issue bursting I'll be right back I'm gonna put on the stickers so here's how the Beyblade looks with the stickers on. It only has a couple stickers, which I really like because that means that most of the detail was painted on. This is the shortest mode and the tip is not out. Oh, that launcher feels good. Whoa, it's crazy aggressive. Wow, it's super aggressive, wow. All right, bringing it up to its second mode. And the burst stoppers came out too. So now it's much less aggressive it's more passive this is like a more defensive mode i guess so when the burst stoppers come out these blue wings come out on the side so you have to push them back in after there are two one on each side and these other blue tabs are just always there they don't move at all so it's taller but it's now flat again i think it's a little more aggressive wow fourth mode This launcher is great, guys. I love it. The extra um, string length is really helping. Fifth mode. That's so aggressive. That's awesome. Here's the last mode. So it's defensive. That's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.